could we get this straight as a definition for all time and despite all teachers that you've ever been with, all masters, I will tell you the truth. I am intelligent. In intelligence. Without I, intelligence, there's nothing. Then there's the senses, which is the body. But without intelligence in the body, there'd be no reflection, no intellect, no low life, so you wouldn't even know you had a body. And then there is me. You can get rid of your body, you can get rid of your body, but you can't get rid of your intelligence because intelligence is what God is and there is no end to it. And me is inside the body. You can get rid of your body, it doesn't make the slightest difference to me. That's why it's so important that you connect with me and be with me and align yourself with me inside there because if you lose your body, whatever that means, it doesn't make any difference because me is your essence and that's what you are when you die. You die, you are me. So intelligence is I, what we call I. Okay. Does that intelligence, is that a personification of a me? Yes, yes, it comes intelligence. Me is something that is indefinable. But intelligence is also indefinable, really, because the best demonstration I can give of intelligence is what's looking out of your eyes. Now, what's looking out of your eyes? You can't define that. You could say, well, it's intelligence, it's perception, it's cognition, anything, not cognition, but... Uh, uh, but what's looking out of this lady's eyes and what's looking out of your eyes? The same thing. And the same thing's looking out of the, out of the bird's eye. And the same thing's looking out of the koala bear's eye. There's only one thing looking out of all eyes, and that's intelligence. It just, the intelligence just comes through the different species, the different body forms, and then in, the, in man and woman, it comes through the different, the different constitution of the bodies. This intelligence comes through, and it, it gives it a different, uh, a different performance. But what's looking out of your eyes, that's God. You can't define it, I can't define it, and that's me. So it's the personification, if you like, or the embodiment of me. But it still has no attributes, does it? Yeah. And what's looking out of my ears? That's intelligence. I can't define it. The ears just respond, but it's the intelligence in the ears and in the flesh. So this is what's called the ego, which is intelligent. The ego is a great intelligence, it is the intelligence of the body and its job is to protect the body's survival. So with all this business about he's got a big ego is a misconception of things. You can say he's got a big self, an inflated self, but not an inflated ego. The ego is the most beautiful and pure, pure instrument because it's looking all the time out of me intelligently through my five senses to see if there anything is threatening my body. Is there any smell of smoke? Because immediately is my ego will, will go alert and put all my senses, all my faculties on the alert to see that the body is not endangered. Now would you call that a big ego? You see these teachers don't even know what they're talking about. You can have a big inflated self filled with emotion of its own importance, but that is not the ego. The ego is a wonderful thing. It is the intelligence of my body. All right.